Identifying the stereotypes of band in less than 60 seconds. Go! Flutes. They're pretty chill for the most part. It's typically where the Asian master of band lies. Clarinets. They're famously known for the squeaks, and they probably have that one kid who used to play the trumpet but switched there, so they pass their ego on to the rest of them. Oboe. Probably the hardest woodman instrument to learn, so there's typically only three of them at bare maximum, so stage fright is basically out of the question. French horns. They're either really good or really bad. Nothing too special about them personality wise, but we never have enough of them. Saxophones. They're typically really tall, have an ego a bit too high, so they constantly annoy the directors, and you thought the clarinet mouthpiece was bad? Just you wait. Trumpets. We always have to Many of them have an ego about as high as the saxes, only one or two of them are actually great, and according to them, P means power. Trombones are usually pretty good at what they do, they're basically the parents of the brass because at least from my experiences they're the most mature, but I could be wrong. Baritone. Who the heck are they? But soon, they're always forgotten, have to be at least decent so they're not lost in the void of band, and make sure their reed is stable or they might as well start digging the grave if they're breaks at a concert, I'm totally not speaking from experience. Euphonium. The baby tuba, typically only found a beginning brass, once they get to high school you'll never see them again. Tuba. Typically pretty big, have an excuse to drag a little bit, have to wait a lot, basically the quiet kid in the back of the room.